because Spider-Man 2, again, is one of those ones I'd watch in a heartbeat. Oh, it's on? I right. I fucking I went, I went to see it when I, I went to see it when it came back to theaters. Like, that's how amazing that, that movie is when you return it back. Now, I did, I did enjoy that. There's a, there was, I, I will try not to get sidetracked too much, but I, I, there was a part of me was like, oh, everyone went to go see Spider Man again because it got re released. That's great. That's amazing. Everyone then went to see Spider Man 2. Brilliant. That's great. That's amazing. And then everyone went to go and see Spider Man 3 again. And all of a sudden there was this conversation, which is, is Spider Man 3 really that bad? The answer is yes. And the answer is fucking yes. Like, it, 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 no, it, it is. Now, I, listen, I'm not shitting on you. If, if you find stuff in Spider-Man 3 that, that you love, that that stuff speaks to you and you love that, great. I really, I, I want you to have that stuff. I just, I just, I need, I do need you, though, also to detach yourself from what I love to what is objectively good storytelling. And Spider-Man 3 does not fit that bill. Sorry, Tracy, I've just... Bollocks on about Spider-Man. No, 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 no